why are you incapable of speaking? What is wrong with you? <sighs> hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you what's on my Christmas wish list. Not my Christmas I actually hope I get these things list, but my wish list. So these are the things that if I could write a letter to Santa, these are the things I would ask for. These are not the things that I expect anybody to actually give to me, and they are not things that I will necessarily ever buy for myself. So, having said that, let's do this. I have six items on my wish list. They are not ranked in any particular order, so I haven't listed them in terms of what I want first or what I want most. I haven't ranked them in terms of price tag or anything like that. They just are on the paper in front of me, and let's go through them. The first thing on my wish list is a weighted blanket. I love the idea of this. They are not cheap though, I will say that. And because obviously I share my bed with my husband, I have to get him on board with the idea as well, unless I guess I could just buy like a twin size that it's just for me that would knock the price down a little bit. Here in Canada, there is a company that sells them. They go anywhere from 160 up to 180. And then if you want the cover for it, which obviously I'm gonna to wanna to cover for it, the cover is about $80. So all in with tax and everything, this is gonna be a 300, maybe slightly north of $300 investment. I don't think that I can justify that. But I really do like the idea of a weighted blanket. We have a duvet on our bed right now and it has a good amount of bulk to it, but it's not specifically weighted. But I love that like compression feeling and I do, I, I have anxiety. Um, I take medication for it. I've talked about this a number of times. It is what it is. But I think that having a weighted blanket would be very beneficial for me. I really think that it would help, especially on just those days where I'm overwhelmed or I'm stuck or just feeling like I need to nest, those days are fairly few and far between, although in the winter they do crop up more often, especially January. January is a particularly bleak month for me and it just always has been. So it's on my list. I don't know that I will ever justify the cost of it because I am the only one who would get any benefit from it. Hence, it's a wish. There it is. I would like a weighted blanket. Surprisingly enough, there really isn't any makeup on this with the exception of two palettes, both of which are from Natasha Denona. I would like the Sunset palette. I finally bit the bullet and bought the gold palette this year and I, I felt so accomplished when I did that because for many years it was just out of the question. Like that price tag was just completely not even on my radar. That was just never going to happen. It was a non-starter. But thankfully, things have started to shift and to change in our lives, and I was able to purchase it. I don't know that I could put out that kind of money for a second palette. So the Sunset palette is on my list of things that I would love to have, but that I don't think I'm ever actually going to buy for myself. As well, the Natasha Denona Purple Blue palette, I would love, love to have that palette. It is so beautiful. There's one Sephora near us, near-ish to us, it's about a half hour drive, that actually has it in store and I have swatched it and drooled over it and lusted after it, but it is $300 plus tax. I can't justify that. I just can't depend, like no matter how pretty it is, I just really, I can't imagine the scenario in which I shell out with tax, about $350 for a single eyeshadow palette. The thought is almost laughable to me, to be honest. Um, who knows? Maybe in future, that'll be in the cards for me, but as of right now, that is just outside the realm of reality. So it is definitely on my wish list. The next item that I would love Santa's Little Helpers to drop off for me would be wireless Beats by Dre headphones. Noise canceling, sound isolating, the whole nine yards, go big or go home. These are about $300. I really want them. 
and I want them not because they're stylish or because they're trendy or what like I don't I, I don't give two craps about that I really like honest to god especially with headphones I don't care but for me it's the sound quality and I like basically every night I fall asleep either listening to music or listening to ASMR videos I don't even watch the videos most times I like to keep playing YouTube videos on my phone the screen has to be active so I just put it like face down on my bedside table and then I have earbuds in and just like for me it's more like the tapping videos and where there's like sounds not so much the um I'm gonna give you an eye exam kind of video that mm, I'm hit or miss with that but it's the sounds and with music I love I love listening to music on headphones and really like hearing all of the different layers of sounds and hearing the different instruments that don't necessarily translate when you are listening to the radio in the car or something like that so I would love some really high quality headphones so that I can really just immerse myself in that and really get the most out of it and I want them specifically to be wireless so that when I roll over and I'm still plugged into my phone, I don't scare the shit out of myself when the phone falls and hits against the bed frame, which happens basically every night. So, I would like wireless, please. Thank you. Next on my wish list is a new camera. I, I like this camera. So I have the Sony A5100. I like it because it's functional. It's not overly complicated and fancy. I can figure it out. It's got like a little monitor that pops up, so if the camera's pointing this way, the monitor sits here, so I can see myself. I didn't have to buy an external monitor. I don't have to look down over here to see what you guys are seeing. It's just right there. Um, I try very hard to stare at the camera when I'm talking instead of staring at myself, uh, because I find that distracting sometimes when people are just like staring at their monitor and talking. I'm like, no, I'm over here. Come look at me. Uh, so I try very hard. but. Out of my periphery, at least, most times when I'm doing like makeup tutorials or get readies with me or whatever, I can at least, out of the periphery of my vision, see whether or not I'm in frame. It's been a, an acquired skill, because if you watch my earlier videos, not, not always successful with that, but this camera overheats quite frequently and it drives me mental. Also, every now and then it just decides, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to record anymore, haha. -ha but it doesn't tell me that it's not recording until the camera just shuts itself off and I'm like, when did you stop? Uh, and then I have to just retake a bunch of stuff because I don't know where it's actually ended. So, I feel like I'm ready for the next step in camera, so the next level up. I have done a lot of research on this. I've looked at what people like Sam Ravindahl are using that's like 10 steps ahead of me. Um, her camera, the price tag of it made me choke, so that's that's not where I'm at. What I would really like is the Canon T7i. It just, it seems like it's a little bit more advanced than the camera that I have now. There's room for an external mic, so the sound quality would be a little bit better. I find I sound a little tinny, or like I'm in a can or something on these videos. Uh, and that could just be the nature of the room that I'm in, but I feel if I have an external mic, it would be that much better. And I haven't run across any reviews where they talk about the camera overheating. Because depending on whether or not I have my door open or just what else is going on, I can get maybe 20 minutes of footage at a time on this, and then each subsequent time it becomes shorter. Sometimes it overheats at 13 minutes. So it's pretty limited when you're trying to film an actual makeup look, which takes much longer than that. So, that is on my list. I would love to invest in that. It's not going to happen right away. That is one that I can see myself investing in. I really can because it's something that I'm going to use all the time and it's going to help with the quality of the content that I put up, which means that more than just myself and are, am going, are going to, grammar, you guys are going to enjoy it too. That's basically it. So you know, the number of people viewing the video times the number of videos, all that kind of thing, it is for the betterment of humanity, really. All right, the next thing. I want a fancy-ass Louis Vuitton bag. Not like the super fancy, like the $30,000 bags, it's just like I would lose that and then have to jump off a bridge, basically, but like the Neverfull. 
with the pink lining, please. It's like $1,800, $1,700, somewhere in there, plus tax is going to be some ridiculous amount. I'm probably never going to buy that for myself, like at least not until my kids are like through university, but I would love one. I've always loved the look of just classic Louis Vuitton. I don't like some of the weird like denim look things that they do and sometimes they try to be really cutesy and for $1,800 I don't want cute. I want something that's going to be timeless, that's going to be a real investment and that I'm going to be carrying 30 years down the road and it's not going to look completely out of date. So the Neverfull, I love the style of it, I love the design of it, I love the functionality of it. I like a larger purse. That is one that is definitely on my wish list. I would love, love to have that. I would be so proud to own it, uh, but I can't justify spending that kind of money on myself for a bag. We'll put it that way. Okay, the last thing may be a little controversial. But it's my wish list, so whatever. Um, doesn't mean you have to do it. Lip injections. I would like lip injections. I don't want a lot of filler. All I really want is just to plump up the upper lip. I like my lip shape. I like my lower lip. I would just like the upper lip to match the lower lip in terms of fullness. So those are like, I don't know, what, five, six hundred dollars, depending on how much you're getting put in and then you have to do it repeatedly. So it is an investment. I don't know that I'll ever get around to actually doing it, but it's just something that I think would make me feel just a little bit more confident about myself, but it's not, it's not a burning desire. It's not a priority, certainly, um, but it's just something that I'd like to do for myself. Barry is not on board with it, and while I don't require his permission, I don't want to, like it's not worth marital strife, we'll put it that way. Um, not that he would fight about it, not that we would like break up over it, like it, that wouldn't be, that's not even what it would be. Um, he just loves me for who I am, and that's amazing. That is, I'm the luckiest person in the world. If me getting injections, altering my face, is going to make him feel uncomfortable, it's not worth it to me. If after we talk about it and all that kind of thing, he is more on board, then I might proceed with it, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. So that's why it's on the wish list. It's something that I would like. I just wish that my upper lip was a little more full. I'm gonna wrap it up. That's my Christmas wish list. I would love to hear from you guys down below. What is like, the, the the big wish, like what is the thing that you're probably never going to buy for yourself but that if you could somehow get for free or as a gift or whatever, what would it be? Let me know down below because I love hearing what other people really hope for and really wish. So be materialistic, whatever. It's a safe space. I'm not going to judge. It's all good. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.